This is a great white, Larry. A big one. And any shark expert in the world will tell you it's a killer. It's a man-eater. Look, the situation is that apparently a great white shark has staked a claim in the waters off Amity Island. And he is going to continue to feed here as long as there is food in the water. And, and there's no limit to what he's going to do. I mean, we've already had three incidents. Two people killed inside of a week, and it's going to happen again. It happened before. The Jersey Beach. 1916, there were five, five people, people chewed killed. up in the surf. In tell one him, week. Tell them about the swimmers. A shark is attracted to the exact kind of splashing and activity that occurs whenever human beings go in swimming. You cannot avoid it. If you open the beaches on the 4th of July, it's like ringing the dinner bell, for Christ's sake. Look, sakes. Mr. Vaughn, Mr. Vaughn, I pulled a tooth the size of a shot glass out of the rectal of a boat out there, and it was the tooth of a great white. It was Ben Gardner's boat. It was all chewed up. I helped tow it in. You, sh you should have seen him. Where, where is that tooth? Did you see it, Broad? No, I didn't see it. He, he dropped it. Yet. I had an accident. Way in. And what did you say the name of this shark is? It's a carcarid and carcarius. It's a great white. You don't have the tooth. Look, we depend on the summer people here for our very lives. You are not going and to have a summer unless you deal with this We're not only going to have to close the beach, we're going to have to hire somebody to kill the shark. I mean, we're going to have to tell the Coast Guard. Mr. Vaughn, you have to contact the repellent. shark We're going to have to put extra deputies on because you have to the world is going to come in here. We can't I don't think one, one, one of you are familiar with our problems. Uh, I think that I am familiar with the fact that you are going to ignore this particular problem until it swims up and bites you on the ass. Now, wait a second, wait a second. There are two ways to deal with this problem. Hey, you're either going to kill this animal, or you're going to cut off its food supply. Larry, we have to close the beaches. Brody, sick vandalism. That is a deliberate mutilation of a public service message. Now, I want those little paint-happy bastards caught and hung up by their Buster Browns. That's it. Goodbye. I'm not going to waste my time arguing with a man who's lining up to be a hot lunch. I'm going to see you later, Please don't do this. He's not... Mr. Vaughn, what we are dealing with here is a perfect engine, uh, an eating machine. It's really a miracle of evolution. All this machine does is swim and eat and make little sharks, and that's all. Now, why don't you take a long, close look at this sign? Those proportions are correct. Love to prove that, wouldn't you? Get your name into the National Geographic. <laughs> Larry, Larry, if we make an effort today, we might be able to save August. August? <laughs> for Christ's sake, tomorrow's the 4th of July, and we will be open for business. It's going to be one of the best summers we've ever had. Now, if you fellas are concerned about the beaches, you do whatever you have to to make them safe. But those beaches will be open for this weekend. Thank you.